This week, the Federal Reserve announced that it will make artificial credit cheap and available, yet again, giving the illusion of prosperity. My next guest says that only the insane do the same thing over and over and expect different results. Here to try and make sense of all of this is the CEO of Euro-Pacific Capital and the author of How an Economy Grows and Why It Crashes, my good friend Peter Schiff. Peter, uh, welcome back to the show. As always, it's a pleasure. Can, can you give us the thumbnail version of why we saw what we saw this week with 600 up and 400 down and 500 up and 500 down and 600 up, why we saw these wild swings in the stock market this week? Well, I think a lot has been going on. I mean, first of all, a lot of people on Wall Street who believed that the initial stimulus or the QE2 worked and that we were actually going to have a real recovery in this country were waking up to the grim reality that we were going back to recession. And so the market was coming down, people were selling stocks, and then basically Ben Bernanke came to the rescue and assured everybody that we're going to have two more years of reckless money printing, that we're going to have QE3, that the Fed's going to keep interest rates near zero. And I think that's what's really providing a boost for stock prices. But it's not because there's going to be any prosperity. It's just because there's going to be a lot of inflation. Inflation makes prices go up including the price of stocks, but it's going to make the price of almost everything else go up faster. And that's when the real money, or the, why the smart money, didn't go into stocks, but went into gold bullion, which made record high after record high until today when we had a pullback on right. an increase in the margin requirements. All right, before we get into the margin requirements, give, give us the evil that comes about in the long run to the, Fed, to the Federal Reserve printing cash and offering cheap credit to people and institutions that otherwise could not qualify for it on their own by virtue of their savings or the manner in which they manage their businesses or their, or their yeah. uh, lifestyles. I mean, we have to understand that the single biggest problem confronting the U.S. economy is interest rates are too low. Artificially low interest rates distort the allocation of resources, land, labor, and capital. And so our economy uh, is so misallocated, uh, and the market tries to correct those imbalances, but that correction process, to get resources from where they are to where they need to be, there's some short-term pain. But our politicians have no stomach for short-term pain because they think they might not get reelected. So the Fed does whatever it can to delay that rebalancing, but all that does is compound the problem. Think about how much more debt we're going to have two years from now than we do today, and think of how much more painful it's going to be when interest rates rise. Because the deeper in debt we are, the harder it is to pay the interest. And the Fed knows that. The reason the right. Fed doesn't want to raise rates is because it will bankrupt the government, it will bankrupt the banks. Well, how much worse is it going to be in a couple of years when we have more debt? We have less than a minute to go. What did the uh, banking regulators in Europe do today, which affected the price of gold here in the United States, reminding us how perilously close we are to our bankrupt cousins on the other side of the pond? Well, I don't think, I don't think what was done in Europe necessarily affected gold beyond you know there were rumors now that the Swiss the Swiss government wants to peg the Swiss franc to the euro and the Swiss franc had a huge drop today on those rumors and if that is true it kind of destroys some of the safe haven status in the Swiss franc the Japanese have been undermining their currency because the yen was a safe haven the one money that can't be undermined by a government because they can't print it is gold and as all the other safe havens you know fall away gold could be the last man standing got it peter Schiff, it's a pleasure thanks very much for joining us president obama's on the campaign fundraising